Hi there, I'm Leona Stewart. I'm a glass artist and I live in Ayr. Uh, and um, I just was going to tell you a little bit about myself and do a wee demo on making a fused glass panel. Um, I've been self-employed as a glass artist for ooh, uh, nearly 15 years, I think. Um, I design uh, panels for doors or windows in traditional stained glass. Um, I also make fused glass gifts, bowls, jewellery, all sorts of things. Uh, I do repairs and I run workshops from this space um, in Carrick Road in Ayr. Um, so obviously the lockdown has affected a lot of people in different ways. Uh, I've been lucky and I've had some commissions to work on. Um, so I've been down here in the workshop, which is at the bottom of the garden. Uh, so I'm lucky and uh, to be honest, the lockdown hasn't made that much difference to me in terms of my uh, routine week to week, apart from having my husband and my children around all the time, which has been lovely and great weather, of course. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm going to do a wee demo here uh, and show you how to make a fused glass piece. I have a, a design to start with. Um, I'm working on a, a light box so that the light shines through my design and clearly through the glass that I'm cutting. Um, so, uh, and I'll just show you, I've already drawn out the pieces actually, but uh, I would normally put the piece of glass on top of the design, draw around the shape I'm wanting to cut out, and then I take my glass cutter and I score the surface of the glass get a nice noise and then you just tap fairly firmly but gently under the score line and hopefully it pops off just like that um, I'll just do a couple of screws to get around that curve and all this all these smaller cut pieces of glass um, will go on a clear piece, a clear disc there that I have already cut. And glass fusing is where the layers of glass, so that will then go on there. These pieces I've already cut out will go on there. And the process is, once I've got all this cut, it goes on a, a kiln shelf into a glass kiln. And it gets fired up to about 800 degrees centigrade. And basically the glass turns literally red hot and the layers of glass all melt together. This piece, some of the colours, some of the glasses are quite strange in that they change colour when they're heated to full fuse. So the small curve that I have just done there will actually change to a canary yellow, bright yellow colour. And this piece I'm just breaking just now um, will change to a bright orange. Um, and there's some different pliers for different techniques of breaking. There, we go. there is also, if you just follow me over here, a very handy grinding machine. So for any lumps and bumps that I don't want in my piece, I just put it on here. Should be some water comes up and the ground. Do with some more water now. There we go. And we'll head back over. And that will go on to my piece there. And I will continue and cut these other pieces um, and uh, they then go onto my kiln shelf and the shelf then gets put into my kiln here, uh, which has the elements in the lid here. 
and uh, it's an overnight process so it takes hours to get up to the set temperature of about 800 degrees and then hours to cool back down to allow the, gra the glass to anneal and cool uh, without breaking. If you do it too fast, either up or down, the glass tends to break. Um, and uh, the finished piece, as if by magic, I have a piece here oops, that I made earlier for hanging in your window or in your garden. There we go. So um, I can be contacted uh, at, through my Facebook page, which is at Leona Stewart Leaded Glass. I have, uh, rather confusingly, two websites. One is leonastewartleadedglass.co.uk, which shows you uh, links to all the commissions and window panels I've made. Also to uh, a section that tells you about workshops. Um, I also have another website which is for buying jewellery and fused glass gifts. There's some examples there of birds, some Christmas pieces, uh, these types of things are on the website which is leonastuartglass.co.uk and I also have a page on Instagram which is at leona3897. Uh, so, um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, little demonstration and uh, I hope everyone's keeping safe and well and uh, please get in touch at any point. Thank you.